Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Since we're coming into the holiday season and it's Friday, I have an exercise for you for this weekend. It's about creating. And as we move into the holiday season, we hear a lot of news like what kind of holiday season is it going to be? Are the stores going to be busy? Are we going to be economically sound? Are people going to be shopping and yada, yada, yada? And here's the thing. You can have a great holiday season, no matter what it is, if you create it. And one of the ways to create it is hold your focus. Now, we have this on the tune-ups all the time about focusing and manifesting, and we become what we think about the most. And today I'm going to expound upon it just a little bit. If you've ever learned how to ride a bicycle, you've probably noticed as you were learning how to ride a bicycle, one of the things that we do is focus on where we don't want to go because we're concentrating on crashing. And if we look into the ditch, it just seems like that bicycle just magically goes right into the ditch. If we focus looking where we want to go down the sidewalk, we can stay on that sidewalk and go there. The reason that happens is our mind has a tendency to create the neuromuscular movement and also thought patterns in our brain to create what we're focusing on. That's how manifesting works. It's that simple. Manifesting is nothing more than creating what you want through a thought process that literally triggers parts of the brain and the body to create that. In this holiday season that's coming up, what I want you to do, and I want you to practice this weekend on manifesting something that you want. And let's just start with something small. Let's not go with uh, something big. Let's just have a small experiment. Let's hold our focus on somebody doing something nice for us that was unexpected. Maybe somebody buys you a cup of coffee or tea. Maybe buys you lunch. Or maybe brings you something or stops by to see you. Or maybe somebody gives you a phone call that you haven't heard of for a long time. Hold your focus on specifically something is going to happen that's nice for me this weekend that I'm not doing for myself. And just hold that focus there and just allow it. And remember, it's a fine line between holding your focus on allowing it to happen and focusing on it hasn't happened yet. Because the moment you have that thought, you're killing it. You're absolutely destroying the energy that's moving you in that certain direction. It's back to riding a bicycle. You can ride a bicycle perfectly until you look where you don't want to go and then you just have a tendency to just run right in there. So since it's the weekend and since we're heading for Thanksgiving here in a couple of weeks, I think it'd be a good time for you to really practice on holding your focus on not only what you want or somebody doing something nice for you, but also hold your focus on creating a holiday season this year that's going to be extraordinary and special. Maybe not in the presence and gifts category, maybe in the spiritual and love category. Understand that each one of us each day create our world, whether we want to or not. And I look at my world sometimes and it's kind of scary, but I'm the one that's probably creating most of it. Very few things happen by happenstance. There's things that are out of our control, but two things we are primarily in control of, and that is our attitude toward what happens to us and what we decide to do about it. So this weekend, let's work on manifesting and let's start practicing holding our focus and allowing, and guess what's going to happen? I'll bet you're going to be surprised by somebody somewhere when you least expect it is going to say, hey, let me go buy you a cup of coffee. Hey, let's go do lunch. Hey, let's do this, let's do that. And you're going to be surprised. And then you're going to say to yourself, wow, I created that. I want you to have an extraordinary weekend. I'll be back on Monday with more tune-ups. And remember, we have a cruise coming up in May. I would love for you to join us. We've got extra rooms now available. If you want to go just by yourself, we can arrange that. We're going to some amazing places. It's proven to be not only an extraordinary ship, but also are going to be an extraordinary cruise going through that inside passage in Alaska in the springtime. So the weather will be great, the scenery will be great, and hey, the company's going to be great. So until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a great weekend. Bye-bye.